Why is my 33 horsepower Generac motor losing power on my Dixie chopper mower? Welcome to Just Answer Small Engines, let me try to help you. See if all cylinders are firing by removing one spark plug at a time. If engine dies, the other cylinder is not firing. What is your full model number, or the numbers off the engine, I am assuming this is a twin engine. Thanks for getting back with me. It is a twin cylinder. The model is XTC3300. Do the cylinder test, likely you are going to find one cylinder is not firing, check it for spark and compression. If spark and compression are okay, check the valve operation. The model is XT3300. I tried the spark plugs. The mower keeps running but naturally loses power while sitting there. How do you check the valve operation? Just see if they are moving. A push rod or rocker could be off. Can you point me in the right direction? I'm not very mechanical. Loosen the spark plug wires, crank engine and let it idle, and remove one spark plug wire at a time. If engine dies, the other cylinder is not firing. Then you would check for spark on the dead cylinder. If it has spark, some other factor is making it miss, can be loss of compression, or valve is not moving, which would require removing the OHV cover and seeing if the valves are going up and down when cranking. It is not really missing. It does not have the same power when cutting. The power diminishes as the mower runs for a while, like 30 minutes. It is like it is in tall grass and you slow down. Then it keeps getting worse until you quit trying to mow. Have you changed fuel filter and checked the air filter element? And you might be surprised how all these twin engines run on one cylinder. Worth checking in his easy test. I changed two fuel filters, spark plugs and only one of the air filters. The dealer said one of the air filters did not need replacing. I will move the mower with one plug at a time. I will do that right now. Be back in two minutes. Okay. I ran the mower around my yard on one plug at a time. It runs the same with either plug wire removed. Good, and you don't have problem there. Maybe fuel supply problem when it heats up? Do you have any ideas about the fuel after heating up? Try loosening the fuel cap when it starts dying down. Maybe the fuel tank is not venting, causing a vacuum to be drawn on the fuel tank, so gas will not exit. Has to be something with the fuel supply. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.